all right guys welcome to today's vlog we are going to be making a tea party with yummy breakfast and i'm going to show you a very beautiful table setup that you can do it's very easy it's very simple extremely elegant however okay and i'm going to share some breakfast ideas things you already know how to do but just adding little hints or little different ingredients here and there and this is my table this is how i wanted my table to be i wanted it to be black yes i wanted a black tea party pretty much so i have my black um table with a long tablecloth with black chair covers with gray mugs and marble plates just beautiful elegant and so easy to do yet once someone sees it it's very elegant okay so this is an idea for you you can set it up for a dinner you know dinner table breakfast table lunch however whatever you want to do okay so and this is my teaspoon very elegant yes very fancy we love fancy we love beautiful we love simple yet elegant things right so this is a very cute idea for you i loved how this came out okay so don't go away sit back relax and let's go ahead and start our breakfast welcome to my channel so today we are going to do a tea party again everyone loved my tea party that I have made before so I wanted to make another one for you and again uh, I chose darker colors because I love black I love black so much and many times people just kind of stay away from black I don't know why they think it's too dark it's not gonna be beautiful when you set up a table but again I'm going to have lots of boys today uh, because I have my auntie from Paris who's visiting with her son so I just didn't want to have all the girly colors okay so I don't want to waste a lot of your time let's go ahead and move on to the breakfast okay so we are going to have some pancakes today some bacon some waffles um some um eggs over easy eggs stuff like that okay let's go ahead and get started start i'm just going to have my pancake mixed okay i love this brand okay so i'm going to have my uh, i'm gonna be making pancakes okay All right, so just making sure I open the box and I'm going to pour the quantity that I need. I'm going to, it's going to be seven of us, okay? Including a three-year-old who barely eats. <laughs> so I'm just pouring my mixture for the size of my family. And just make sure you read the box so you know how to make the pancakes correctly according to the brand of your mixture, okay? Whatever you have, make sure you read okay so that's what i was doing i always make sure i read the instructions or the recipes and then i can add my little on uh you know little things here and there so i'm going to have a little bit of um powder milk okay it's not too much a little bit and then i'm going to have my pure vanilla extract just a little bit left okay so and we're gonna have our two eggs inside i have two brown organic okay i have some organic eggs 
that I'm putting inside. And the reason why I have used, um, I've used vanilla extract is because it makes it better, it makes the taste so much better. And of course, we are going to put a little bit of water, okay? We got to put a little bit of uh, water to, to mix it well. And it depends on how soft, how loose you want your pancakes to be. So it depends on, you know, what consistency you want. If you want it to be very, very soft, then you put, you make it a lot looser. You put a little, a little bit of uh, water and I'll show you. You guys know how to make pancakes, right? So I'm just going to come over my sink and put a little bit of water and mix it very good. And if you want to add a little bit of sugar, you can because the pancake is the pancake mix doesn't have any sugar. Okay? And we are going to use the same mixture. Okay? The same exact mixture to do the waffles as well, okay? So, this is not loose. We want it to be very loose, okay? I'm going to add more water. All right, my lovely people. So, this is how loose it is. You see that? So, after I have mixed very, very well, okay, I've mixed everything super good. And you don't see any bumps, you know what I mean? No bumps at all. It's very smooth. And now we are ready to do our pancakes, okay? We're ready to make our pancakes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring you over to the stove so we can start our all right so this is what i have okay i'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of olive oil you can use oil of your choice and the reason why i'm doing this is um so my pancakes don't stick okay so it's easy to flip it's easier to flip them over because we are going to be flipping it, flipping them over from side to side, okay? So I am going to go ahead and pour my mixture just a little bit. I don't want to do too much. The more you pour, the bigger the pancake's going to be and the thicker, okay? So sometimes when it's too thick, it doesn't really cook well. It doesn't cook on the inside. So I just pour a little bit so it's easier to cook. So it's not super big. You know what I mean? It's up to you. You can make them bigger or you can make them this, you know, the size that you see on the video. Okay. Just like my size. And, um, I'm using a bigger, uh, frying pan so I can make more at the same time, or I can move faster. Uh, so before I pour more, I just want to make sure I'm going to kind of flip them over first, because if you pour more, then it's, they're all just going to be mixing together, coming together and, uh, making a huge pancake. You know what I mean? So you want it to be a little bit thicker, uh, a little bit cooked a little bit okay before you can add more just how you see on the video okay so i'm just checking of course use a spatula and uh after a few seconds it's going to start um cooking okay so and then you flip them over very easy okay so nothing big nothing hard okay this one was so perfect look at that <laughs> That was so perf perfectly round. That one was such a success. Okay. So I'm kind of just um, making sure I'm flipping them over. This one broke a little bit, but it's fine. We're going to fix it. <laughs> We're going to fix it. Okay. Just how you see. All right. So yeah. Pancakes are easy. They're yummy. Okay. So if you want to add extra flavor just put a little bit of vanilla in the mixture and uh some people add a little bit of sugar i did not add sugar i didn't and the reason why i didn't add sugar is because we are going to be uh pouring 
uh, syrup on top of it. You know what I mean? We're going to have syrup on top of it. So I don't want to add extra sugar. We got to stay away from sugar. Okay. When you don't have to add sugar, don't add sugar. However, if you really want it to be a little bit sweet, then you can add a little bit of sugar. But yeah, so I'm just going at, you know, making sure I'm flipping them from side to side to make sure it's cooking evenly it's cooking good and the inside is cooking as well and i had a little taste taste super good and it's pretty much ready okay so i'm going to go ahead and set it aside and uh i'm going to be making more okay because we need more than three <laughs> we need more than three okay so i'm just gonna be making more um i'm probably not going to show everything so i'm just going to sprinkle a little bit more oil so i can make more pancakes okay so uh yeah that's it pancakes are super 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 duper easy okay so there i'm going to be making more and uh you should have seen how the pancakes were being eaten so quick so fast they were so good and i made quite a few i made a lot of pancakes okay so these ones uh they were kind of trying to um come together <laughs> as one so this is why i I had to separate them a little bit and then I flipped it over. Perfect. It's perfectly round. It's beautiful. And I'm going to, to do the same with the other one. Just how you see on the video. Really. And if you love pancakes, who doesn't love? Is there anyone who doesn't like pancakes? <laughs> I think everyone loves pancakes. And my auntie, so basically my auntie from Paris and her son, especially her son, they wanted to have pancakes, like the American pancakes. So, so for the waffles, okay, so we use the same exact uh, ingredients, okay? So, but we are going to add a little bit of uh, sugar, okay? We're adding a little bit of brown sugar, uh-huh, yeah? And that's my son helping me put the other one, put another one. So we have like two coffee spoons of uh, brown sugar for the waffles. And then we are going to add a little bit of water. Okay, let me grab the water. Okay, Marcus, put water inside. Yeah. What are you doing baking sweets? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See what happens uh -huh. when you eat sweets. Go ahead. What are you doing baking sweets? Mm -hmm. See what happens when you eat sugar. Yes. You mix it real good, okay? This has to be nicely mixed, okay? And I think I'm going to add a little bit more water, okay? And then we are going to be making our waffles, okay? So the idea is just mixing it real good and add a little bit of vanilla, uh, pure vanilla extract if you have it. I ran out, so I cannot add any more, but it's equally going to be good, okay? All right, so I just want to show you guys. So this is again how loose our mixture is, and by this time we are going to be making waffles. Okay, so let me make, let me bring you over to the waffle maker so we can go ahead and make waffles. I'm trying to move a bit fast so we can start eating. You know what I mean? All right, so here is my waffle maker, and I did sprinkle a little bit of oil so it's easier to remove once it's done. Waffles, they don't take long to make, just like pancakes, okay? And when you pour waffle, the waffle mixture, the mixture, please make sure you don't pour a lot, okay? You just need a little bit so your waffles don't overly, so they don't go over the waffle maker and it's going to make a huge mess, okay? So just pour a little bit and you'll be fine, you'll be fine, <laughs> then you'll be fine you don't need to pour a lot and the kind of waffle maker i have um turns side to side so i have to come over and you know turning it flipping flipping it over from one side to the other so that both sides uh, can cook evenly so they can cook well they can cook good but yeah that's it so after a few seconds i'm going to just flip it over you see the smoke right so that is kind of indicating to you that the waffle 
it's almost ready pretty much so i'm just gonna come over and flip it to the other side so the other side can cook evenly and uh yeah i'll be doing that from time to time until my waffles are ready just like that all right so now let's go ahead and open it you see that so the waffles are looking good and as you can see all right guys i just want to show you how beautiful the waffles are looking you see that it's looking wonderful beautiful it's super soft okay extremely soft and uh yeah all right moving on to moving along you know moving next to the bacon okay so i'm going to be using again my uh, long frying pan so that i can have more bacons cooking at the same time so i can be fast so it can be faster and easier okay so many i mean i would say two ways that i know of um making bacon one of the ways is to just put the bacon in the oven okay you put them in the in the oven and it also cooks very very well however the easier way for me this is how i do mine so i'm just going to line up the bacons okay just going ahead and lighting them up uh until i feel like that side is cooking then i'm going to flip them over to the other side until my bacon you know my bacons are the way i desire them to be nothing complicated with bacon really nothing complicated um yeah i'm just going to go ahead and let you watch <laughs> all right look how juicy my bacons are looking they look very yummy very juicy i don't like when bacon is overly cooked and super dry and hard like oh <laughs> I, lo I love how juicy my bacons are yes look at that let me show you look at that mm -hmm. i know you want some mm -hmm. i know you do <laughs> no seriously like it's super good looks good tastes good very very good even something as simple as as bacon some people don't even know how to do it <laughs> all right guys so next we are going to be making over easy eggs okay making over easy eggs oh my gosh wow. that was not successful guys <laughs> not even on the floor. but the idea is we are not going to be mixing anything, right? Over easy eggs. Okay, so I'm just going to be adding quickly. I'm adding a little bit of black pepper, okay? Black pepper. Parsley flakes, okay? Parsley flakes. 
Oh my gosh. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Guys, I have made a booboo, okay? I, I um, the per Parsley Flakes did not have, oh my goodness gracious. That's funny, one is going to have extra Parsley Flakes, great. That's, the thing came off. That's why, but this is it. This is all we need. Not too much. Oh my gosh. And then we are going to be, <laughs> that's funny, using garlic powder. <laughs> oh boy, accidents happen in the kitchen. Okay, and we are going to try and flip. Voila. And we are going to be putting a bit of salt, okay? <clears throat> Sprinkle a little bit of salt, always. And a bit of garlic on this side. A little bit more salt because that one wasn't coming the right way You okay, bless? yes look how nice and juicy this looks i know you want some mm -hmm, yes you do <laughs> all right so over here i'm just going to do some sausages ah, okay so this is already you know it's already pre-cooked it's cooked actually from the store it's already cooked so i'm just going to add a little bit of my touch okay i'm adding a, a bit of my touch i'm just going to put a little bit of onions diced onions and a little bit of green onions on it and i'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of oil tiny tiny bit of oil okay i already did put a, a bit of oil so and i'm adding a bit of uh, nutmeg and that's it so i'm going to go ahead and just saute them together saute if you have some dry if you notice that your sausage or your sausages are dry please add a little bit of water so they can be juicy and soft okay my sausages were very 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 juicy the water you know the little juice that comes in the in the uh, package all right guys so i just washed my um my container here so this is just for water okay so we're just gonna have a little bit of water oh man i dropped the lemon okay and then we are going to have some ice just making water look fancy <laughs>
All right, so this is how, how my table is presented. We have our bacon, our waffles, we have our pancakes, we have our powder milk, I have my eggs, over easy eggs, I have some um, marshmallows, marshmallows and the colorful marshmallows that we are going to be putting in hot cocoa. That's the hot cocoa right there. And, uh, and then we have our sausages, very juicy, very yummy looking. And um, so this is it. This is what I we wanted for breakfast today. And whoever wants to have tea can just make their own tea. But no one wanted tea. Everyone wanted hot cocoa. So, to, so this is why I only had hot cocoa today. Okay. So, uh, and then we have our water also. We have our lemon water. And we have our syrup on the table and everything we needed for our very beautiful tea party our breakfast party and my auntie and her son they wanted they always see how i set up my tables and they wanted me to do it for them so i was honored to have them and just them enjoying the <laughs> breakfast Mmm.